Yo. Yo, exciting. I was about to film a video, but something else is coming. Uh, can you guys see the FedEx truck? Sorry, just got real excited. Oh, shoot. Yo, the best. Ooh, what do you guys think it is? again today thanks for joining me today serious video I have a confession to make kind of uh, I know I talked to this bike up a hell of a lot awesome bike don't want to get rid of it still love it short travel 29er but for the riding that I'm doing the way I'm progressing or want to progress I need something more so I did something. <laughs> Let me show you. <sighs> Another bike. Let's get this bad boy open. Uh, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm just gonna kind of open it and get it kind of put together and then because I just want to see it so I can actually go to bed because I'm too excited. And then tomorrow I'm gonna film when I wake up and I'll go over the bike, show you how sick it looks outside in the sun. Uh, we can go over the specs, geometry, all that fun stuff. But let's get this thing out of the box and uh, show you what the hell it is. Oh, I watch. It's got a welcome to the community thumbnail. We got this let's get started box. Oh, man. Ah. Got more cardboard. All right, let's see what I did. Ugh. Oh yeah. We got the 2020 Canyon Spectral. Uh, this is the AL5, the aluminum series five. That's what we get here in the US. This is all they have in stock, honestly. But I love this color. As you can see, I kind of got like an orange red theme going on with my bikes. Uh, I just love this red and black, and this color is fire. Oh, yo, I almost forgot. I forgot to tell you guys a little of the geo numbers. If you want to know, keep watching. Uh, I'm just going to read them off for you. This is something you guys should know. Uh, your head tube angle on this bike is 66 degrees. Not the slackest, not the steepest. Great for trail riding. Still have fun. C tube angle 74 and a half. It's a little steep, but should be all right. I'm not here to climb. I'm not here to complain about it. Chainstay length 430, pretty short, shorter than my common saw and my giant. Wheel base on the large is a 1204, 1204 millimeters. Your stack's 634. Your reach is 460 millimeters. So that's pretty much the um, numbers that I mostly look at to figure out what I want to ride. And like I said, it's got a low standover height, so hopping on it, it's not right at my crotch. I mean, I have room between between there, the goods and the top tube. So, all right, anyways, say bye-bye. Uh, I am going to save everything that I'm taking off. This canyon is pretty sweet, and they have a 30-day like ride guarantee. Uh, I called the guys and they said, give me 30 days to test it out and see if I like it. And if I don't, I can send it back if I want to get my size or if I don't like it. Hopefully I can get my money back. Uh, they were super sweet. I recommend you guys calling them if you can get through. Uh, he hooked me up with uh, two day shipping for free. Probably shouldn't tell everybody that. Uh, some other goodies for free too. He comped me on, so all I have to do is pay tax. So I got some other things coming up now. So hopefully that means they're gonna have some good customer service if they treated treated me like that. I was really appreciative of that. I was like, well, I was just calling to ask him. He kind of talked me into it, and I was like, all right, here's my credit card number. Oh, I just want to get this together. So, 
So, I recommend going over the bike very, very, very well. Just going over it really well, checking for frame damage. I know I've seen people on like forums and stuff. Just small little things. I mean, some people have seen cracks, but just go over everything just very precisely. So you don't hop on the bike beforehand and go out there and hurt yourself or whatnot or make something worse so you can catch it and call customer service and get it taken care of ASAP. Like I said, I built it up last night. I need to just kind of go over it with you guys. <clears throat> if you guys want to know about it, I mean, you can read it online or, you know, just watch the video. Here they are. Well, we don't really care about this one. But I figured I'd go over it with you guys. Just wait till the other side, get that sun on it. Woo, it got bright, didn't it? She's sexy. All right, it definitely looks a little bit more orange in the video. I don't know if you can see the difference, that one. But I'm telling you guys, it's, it's, it is more red. I mean, it is on an oranger side, but it's definitely a neon red. It's infrared, I'm telling you. They stole it from Nike. All right, so this is the 2020 Canyon Spectral. It is the aluminum frame, 150 millimeters of travel in the rear. We got a 160 fork in the front. It is our RockShox Pike. Biggest thing I've ever had. Uh, I don't know if it's got any tokens in it, I gotta find out. But it's got the RC damper. And then moving on to the wheels, they're 27.5 front and rear. Race face uh, AR30s. <clears throat> got 30 uh, millimeters inner width. It's got a Maxwell with Maxis Minion DHR2 in the front. 3C Max Grip XO casing, tubeless ready. They do have tubes in them, they come tubes. Not a big deal. Uh, for the rear, same rim, but we have the Maxxis Aggressor XO casing. And this is a 2.5, 2.5 in the front too. Never ran the Aggressor. I heard it's a faster rolling tire, but I usually use the DHF. And then for the cockpit, yeah, we got the race face ride stem, the race face rise ride handlebar. It's only got a 20 millimeter rise. Not the highest I'd like to go to at least a 30, 35. And then we got, it comes with its own Canyon G5 grips. We've got the guide level T's. I still haven't uh, bedded them in yet. I have guides on my common saw. I really like them actually. I know that's like the biggest debate ever. SRAM, Shimano, blah, whatever. Just ride it. I'm not sure, that picky. Uh, Canyon's house brand dropper lever. It actually works pretty well. I have a wolf tooth I'll probably throw on. SRAM, NX shifter. Spike is a 12 speed. It's got the SRAM 12 speed 10 to 50 in the rear. Uh, SRAM NX derailleur. And it has the uh, Trevative Descendant crank. 32 tooth. Yeah, I did put these pedals on last night just so I could ride it around in the garage because I got to switch all my parts over to this bike. Uh, Canyon's house brand dropper posts 150 millimeter. Not too shabby, works good for now. It's got an SDG saddle. Haven't really got any time on it, but I'll probably throw my Ergon on there. What else am I forgetting, guys? Uh, let's see. Show you this side up for the brakes. It's got uh, the center lock rotors, disc rotors. I was kind of upset about that because I wanted to put my uh, little uh, titanium oil slick bolts on there, but I guess I'm not going to do that on this bike. Same thing in the front. Uh, these are 170 length cranks. So yeah guys, one last final look. So there she is guys. We'll talk to you soon. Appreciate you hanging out. 
keep cranking, and I'll see you in the next one. Woo!